What does Q do in Vim? Well, it's complicated, but it's going to record macros and you're gonna love it. Hey, what's up? I'm Chantastic and today we are doing day Q in our journey through Vim, A through Z, just attacking every letter. Today is Q. It's a crazy time right now, like right now, like the world is freezing. We actually got rain in California. Uh, you know things are messed up when like we get rain. But that's inconsequential. Today we're talking about Q. And Q is a, it lets you record your own macros, your own sets of commands. Now you can do this by recording things that you regularly need to various keys, um, or you can just kind of use them to record like as you need them ad hoc repeated commands. So I'm gonna show you how to use them. Uh, let's open up Vim and we're going to open uh, the quick brown text file. And I'm gonna use my arrows and just navigate all the way to the end here. Now, I let's say I needed to delete dog from all of these. I could do D E and delete dog, go down D E to the end of the word, um, down, do that over and over and over again. Um, now, it's not particularly efficient, and there's a way that we can make this into a macro using Q. So, I'm gonna demonstrate that now. When you type Q, I typed Q, you need to follow it with any number or letter, uppercase or lowercase. Um, that letter is going to be where that macro is recorded to. So if I hit A now, uh, we can see in this bottom corner we're in recording mode and um, we're restoring it in register A for our macro system. And to get out of it, I hit Q again. So I didn't make any motions, but that's how you do it. So I could do QB, record to that B register and hit Q when I'm done recording. A lot of times when people are just recording one off ad hoc macros like I need right now, um, they'll just do QQ because it's the fastest. Um, so. Q, and I kind of think of that as quick. So I'm doing a quick macro, and that's what Q is for. So right now I'm in recording mode. I hit Q twice, so I'm Q to record, and record to the Q register, right? So I am going to do delete to the end of the word, and then I'm also going to do a down motion. So again, we can record any number of motions. It's just going to watch what we do, and, uh, and then repeat that for us. So I'll hit Q again, because I'm done. I deleted to the end of the word and went down. Now I can repeat that with at Q. At is what we use to um, say replay this macro. So I want to play the macro in the Q register. So I do at Q. I can do that again, at Q, and it's going to play that whole macro. Now there's a little bit of a shortcut that you can do. If you want to repeat the last macro that you did, in our case Q, I can do at, at, okay? I can do that again. So all of that becomes pretty easy with macros. Now you will find that this is something that's not uh, extremely useful all the time unless you have repetitive work um, that works on these kind of lines. So as you're exploring uh, with this one in your real code, um, post some comments, let me know how you're using it. Uh, I don't use this nearly as much as I should, um, but I'd like to use it a little bit more um, because as you can see, it's pretty cool. So that's it for Q. As always, if you need help, colon H, Q will get you there. And there's a few things that we didn't cover. I just wanted to cover the basics today. Um, but that is uh, everything you need to know about Q to just get up and running. I'm really excited. Tomorrow, LMNOPQR. R is a really good one. Uh, it's one that I actually use a lot. So I'm excited to talk with you about R tomorrow.